Someone is in doubt. They still do not believe. Someone is in doubt. They still do not believe. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a word for someone. Today when we are commemorating the resurrection of Jesus, we tend to, we can never ignore the place of Thomas. And it's because Thomas doubted. Thomas didn't believe it when they said Jesus is alive. When Jesus appeared to the other disciples. And it got me wondering, like, we've always talked about Thomas and the problem is like, the, it was a, a Thomas kind of problem. Until we call him Doubting Thomas. But the other disciples, did they believe that much? Did the other disciples have much more faith than Thomas? Because the last time I read my Bible, I believe the book of Mark, when he reports it, he says the women came when they saw that Jesus was no more there. They saw the angel and the angel asked them why they are seeking the living amongst the dead. They went back and they informed the disciples about it and the disciples didn't believe them. They thought they were just telling tales. And they ran out. John and Peter went out and went to the tomb. And the Bible says when they got into the tomb and saw the dresses but didn't see Jesus, only then did they believe. And the fact that Jesus appeared just to show Thomas the proof that he needed means sometimes it's okay to doubt. And it's okay to tell God you don't believe, you are not sure. He will clarify you. He will give you the confirmation that you need. It's okay to be in doubt sometimes. God will give you the clarification that you need. God will clarify you. God will come to you to clear your doubts. Everyone, not just Thomas, everyone every now and then get into situations where you doubt something. You doubt what God told you. You doubt the prophecy you, re you receive. Sometimes you doubt if the promises of God over your life will come to pass. All you need to do is tell God, I really want to believe, but please help my unbelief. And he will do just that. God bless you. Shalom.